Hello and welcome back to BAGM Mode in NHL 18 with the Calgary Flames here at Free Agency. So let's sign some free agents. Um, oh, I forgot I was going to do a look at contracts. So I signed the contracts at the end of the last video, uh, well in between videos. So let's take a quick look at those and we'll go see what we need for free agents. So, Eddie Lack did not want a new contract, so we have to go find a goalie for us. So our centers, though, are currently Monaghan, Bennett, Carlson, Janikowski. Not bad. Not a bad four. Uh, you got plenty in the minors. Perfect. Left wingers. You got Goudreau, Kachuk, Yanmark, Kellenbach, and then Furland will probably we will trade away. Maybe get a pick for him, so we'll see like that. And then down below, you got your guys there. Did that wrong order. And then right winger is Froelich, Brower, Lazar, Pulzer. So if we can maybe find a right winger that's a top line right winger, maybe a third, second liner, somebody that can provide us with a little bit more depth, a little bit more security, we should be fine. And in the system, we got, we see need a couple more of AHL players. And then we have Emlyn right here. Starting out at 53 overall, so let's see how he grows over the summer and over the next season. We're going to give him as much ice time as possible. He will be playing first line everything. Penalty kill, power play, 5-on-5, five five, first line everything. I forgot to look at defense. Woo! Off to a good start. Alright, defenseman. Giordano, Brody, Hamilton, Hamnick, Anderson, Witherspoon. Uh, hopefully they grow a little bit more over the year and over the summer and then by the time the year rolls around they're good enough to make the team i think they will be in the system we got kuluk valamaki so valamaki is my main guy i will be growing down there he will probably be most likely be our call call up guy unless we find somebody in free agency uh back to main roster uh you got smith gillies so that's not that's too big of a drop we need uh, a backup, some young guy to come in that's going to fill in the space for when Mike Smith retires. Maybe uh, a good goalie. So if we draft somebody, we can have the current guy and then a guy we draft. So we gotta figure this out, goaltending wise. Uh, here's our depth one, not a lot down below. So we should be able to find somebody, hopefully, we can. I've done a few pre scouting stuff on maybe goalies to find so hopefully this stuff works out for us um so first thing i did uh goalies do 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 i was looking at it i was like you know what let's get grubauer hopefully he can do well for us uh the rangers are off, off in with him right now so let's go for three years and let's give you what you want for three years and then if my plan works out three years would be perfect for him uh, but we gotta find somebody right away. Uh, I didn't want to get any defensemen, did I? I think I did. Yeah, I want to look and see. UFA, somebody who can play in the minors. I don't want. I don't want a guy right now because we have plenty. I want somebody we can grow. If not, somebody that's good enough to play in the minors will be fine with that. Uh, Connor Carrick, top two, minor top two right now, UFA. Uh, do, do, do. So let's go, let's take my con what's the profile of Connor Carrick look like? He's right handed, which is we sorely need. Um, not the greatest discipline, but oh well, pretty good defensive stats, two way defender. You know what? Go Connor Carrick, offer you a contract, what do you want? Perfect. Two way crap contract, sure. And anybody else? Top six guy for Nyemeth, no. That's a huge drop, but we're looking about potential. Uh, Lexi Emlyn's available. So you know what, let's just go with this Koyako guy. What's his profile look like? Yeah, he's left-handed. Is there one that's available? Nudie, no. Hello, Walensky, right-handed, perfect, UFA, minor top two guy, Pim Miners, we can have him grow a little bit, if not, oh well. Alright, so we got two there, 
Uh, I think I only need one defenseman. So, and the right wingers. Ah, uh, there he is. Our boy, Jerome Ginla. I would like to bring him back, but I need to work out cap space and make sure I can afford him. So, uh, we do need to make a quick little trade. Because there is no real goalies for the future. We have Rubauer, but he's getting, he's 26, and Mike Smith retiring most likely at the end of the year. If not, I don't know how much longer he can be with this team, so we need to find somebody. And I think I found somebody that can work out really well for us. Philadelphia. I know, Philadelphia with goaltending. A little scary. Uh, but, Carter? Carter Hart, yes, okay. He's 76, which is minor, very good for us there. Low elite, I mean, he'll probably be starting to split games with Grubauer, I'm fine with that. And the best thing about Carter Hart is he has that low trade value. So, uh, Pearsons, they want Pearsons, so we can probably sneak a couple of picks out of here from Philadelphia. Because we don't need Pearsons if we're getting Carter Hart, so how about uh, let's try third. Never know. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, how about fourth, fifth, sixth? Go. Maybe that'll work. Three picks out of it. Ooh. -hoo. So we get an elite goaltender and three picks for a starter goaltender that wasn't going to be in the NHL next year. Carter Hart might be. So that's good for us. So I was looking at it. I was like, okay. We need a better right winger, and I was thinking about it, and I was thinking, I was like, you know what, let's go with Buffalo. I know Buffalo right winger's not saying a whole lot, but I think we can get somebody from Buffalo, because I was, we need somebody to play alongside Goudreau, and with Monaghan as the center, so looking at it, I was like, okay, maybe we can go with this, swing it around. Uh, Sam Reinhardt, kind of lower trade value, still got the lead. He's got great numbers. He's a playmaker, which we can use with Johnny Gaudreau. And I think we can use this to our advantage. Sam Reinhart. And so let's take a look what they want. They would like... What do you want? What do you want? Falanaki, no. Anderson, no. No. Uh, you want Stone? Sure. Have him. Ooh, give a Janikowski. If we give up Janikowski, we're going to have to go find a center. And I think we can find center, a center of free agency. they got some pretty good ones there from what I remember. So, go Janikowski. What's the trade looking like on this? Eh, pretty close to even. I'm probably going to have to give up a pretty decent pick to them. Oh, we don't have a whole lot because we gave up our two. We never got two. Okay, we got our second round. Um, so if we give up our first this year, okay, the trade value is back in our favor. So can we get a second and a third and May 4th? Let's trade value kind of that. So we're turning a first round pick into two seconds, a second and a third and a fourth. Fortunately, they give up Janikowski, Mikhail Stone, who we're not going to use. Janikowski is the one that's actually hurting us. But we're getting a first line right winger to play along Johnny Gaudreau and Montanahan. Let's see if this goes through. Rejected. Uh, value isn't sufficient enough, so get rid of the fourth. Uh, it isn't sufficient. Great. Get rid of the second. Swing the value at just a touch. Oh, what do you so? Okay, we want to be the value third and fourth next this year, third and fourth next year. How's that for swinging the value? Too far off the table. Okay, so we get rid of next year's fourth. Okay, get rid of that. this year's fourth, two thirds. Swing the value seriously? Hmm. Okay, fourth this year, fourth and a fifth next year. I'm gonna get some picks out of this. Rejected. Sweden value touched. There goes a fifth rounder. Third and a two force for Sam and Sam Ryan Hart for our first Janikowski and Mikhail Stone. So 
Now we got the first line right, we're going to play with him. We got our defense settled out, so... Now next year, we don't have to trade any way picks. We can just slowly to, uh, change our team up a little bit. And then we can use our picks down the road to rebuild a cabinet. Um, so we're going to want third, fourth line guy. Who do we go Jay Beagle? Mark Latest too. Do, do, do. Let's take a lead Jay Beagle's numbers. Pretty decent killing. Two-way forward, mainly playmaker. They're the same overall. Mark Latessi is a little bit stronger defensively. Shea Beagle looks like he's a little bit faster and physical. Uh, oh, apparently I have to rather Nash him now. I say, you know, that will really piss off Edmonton fans. Let's go Mark Latestu. So we got plenty of cap space looking like there. Okay, Mark Latestu to you want that. Uh, how about instead of that, we'll give you 1.675 million. Because nobody's interested in him. Perfect. Now, I think we have plenty of cap space. But no, I don't want to push the day. Sign free agents. We're gonna go and see if we can sign Iggy. Come on, Jerome Ginla. Come back home, play your final year. There he is. I went too far. It looks like it most likely be his final year. He's 41. Wants a one year con one year contract. Third line guy. I'm willing to pay that extra. Bring home McGinla home. So, see what he says about that. And maybe we can have McGinla back on the team. So we gotta figure out what we have to do with Freeland. Uh, advance today. And advance today. Go, go slow. Advance today. Come on, guys, sign up. We have Grubauer, the test two, and a Gimla out there. Come on, somebody sign up. Please, somebody. Still nothing awesome. Going to the fifth. Rejected offer. You feel like you deserve more money? Okay. Except, oh, forgot about Carrick. Grubauer, awesome. Bolkowski, awesome. Again, I accept it. Again, is home. Sweet. All right, so we'll go give Latesti the money. I we want. I try to save a little bit in case again they didn't accept it, but he accepted his contract. Now I just got to sign Latesti, and we should be fine. Uh, Latesti, still nobody wants him, which is kind of sad, but hey. And we got the cap space. Beautiful. All right, so. Now, uh, Latesu should sign up. Let's see if maybe we can find a trade for Furland. Maybe pick up a couple picks. Ooh, we still need some right wingers, but we can get that near the end of the year. Don't know why I have to trade block. I wanted to go to propose trade for Furland. Because obviously, trade block isn't working because nobody's offering me anything for him. Left wingers and Furland. Cool. Uh, not pitting them in the same division. They don't want them over there. Don't want them. Don't want them. Chicago, eh. Okay, Dallas. Detroit. I will give him to Detroit. That's fine. You, what picks will you give me for Fernland? Assuming nothing good, so probably sixth. Sixth or Fernland. How's that? Accepted. Awesome. Maybe I could have got fifth, but take the sixth. That's fine. And then we'll just move on and build a team from here. Um, so let me take a quick look. I think I need two more right wingers before I go too far down the road. And then we should be good. Okay, so centers. Okay, we got them there. And the test should be signing up, so we'll be fine. Okay, left wingers. Got plenty there. Got plenty there. Right wingers. Boom, boom, three, four. Four. Uh, Lazar. Ooh, Matthew just been Lazar. Maybe trade Lazar away, get some picks back. Because I don't think we, we can send him to the minors, but that would be too mean to him. Because he will have the spot, because I'll want him up higher in the lineup, and that's Emlyn's spots. So maybe Lazar for some picks. Uh, we need, looks like, one right winger. And defenseman, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
a Carrick's up there for some reason. And one, two, three, four, five. Carrick would go down. Perfect. And oops. And goalies. Smith, Grubauer, perfect. Expiring. One, two, three. Got Gillies, Hart. So Hart starts, Gillies backs up. We should be good. Um. <laughs> Maybe trade Lazar away for a pick and a uh, right winger that would be in the minors. Uh, post trade. Kind of a little bit longer video to start the beginning part with, but we had a lot to do here for free agency. So we'll get this started. We'll probably do free season, pre season, maybe a little bit extra stuff, but don't know how far into the season we'll get. And does uh, anybody want him? Detroit still wants him. Awesome. Detroit wants him. They'll take Furlan from us. Uh, nope. I'm not training with Detroit. I came to Edmonton, Florida. Um, Halpa, perfect, minor guy, and a fifth round pick. Looks about even, might have to go to the sixth instead of the fifth. Accepted, awesome. So, we got a team now. So after one bad year, uh, we have corrected the mistakes from the previous GM. And now we can just start building into our new franchise and start forming the way we want it to go in the future. Come on. Somebody sign. Come on, the test you. Where you at, buddy? The test you. Do I have to go one more day? I think I do it at night. I think it's like every five days for some reason. It doesn't. Then they'll sign up. And to the night. There he is, mark the test to officially sign. Now we have our center. One, two, three, four down the line, and we should be fine going into the season. So let me sim up to there, and then we'll jump into preseason. Okay, so I've edited the line right here before preseason. Let's take a quick look at them. You got Gaudreau, Monahan, Reinhardt, who's grown to an 86 overall, is now a first line forward. You got first line center, and you got a first line left winger. Actual first line, first line. It's awesome to have. You got Froelich, Bennett, Kachuk. Kalamaki, Carlson, Aginla, Brower, Letestu, Yanmarks. Very strong lineup. We should be fine going in the future. You got Brody, Hamilton, Giordano, Hamnick, Witherspoon, Anderson. I have Hamilton and Brody up here, offensive defensemen, both of them. If they both light it up, great. If they both suck, I can move Brody down, Giordano up. We'll still be fine. So. Uh, that's the little thing I'm going to test out over probably like October. Uh, then we should change. I mean, if we have to make changes, we can't from there. Uh, Kalamaki's getting power play time. I have him on this unit right here. And you got Monahan and Kachuk who will be front of the net. Reinhardt who will be feeding Gaudreau all day long. And you got Hamilton who will also be accepting feeds from Re uh, Reinhardt. So we should be fine there. You got a 4 on 4 with Reinhardt on the point. Actually, I'll move him there. Gaudreau on the point. And then you got Chuck in front with Monahan, Gaudreau, and Brody. So I split the defenseman up a little bit. Got your kill. You got Carlson. And Latesso is your centers for kill. You got Kalamaki as a killer. He's playing every single time you, we go out there. He's going over the board. So that's good for him. It's going to be good for his growth. And if we have to end up trading him down the road, we can get some more value out of him that way. You got Yanmark there killing as well. Yeah, you're three on three. That's the only time Kalamaki will knock over the boards, or three on three actually, or four on four. I don't know what I was saying earlier. Just his special teams is what he does. Uh, I have Bennett up here, uh, centering the four on four, because I want him with Gaudreau, and then you pair two offensive defensemen, and you put Monahan with Reinhardt because I couldn't find a way to work Reinhardt into the top little pairing right there. So I'll put him on the second one. Put him with Monahan. You got Gaudreau and Hamnick. So we should be fine there. Got your uh, third, fourth, four, four on four. So, and then you have your three on three. Uh, you got Bennett, Goudreau, Hamilton, all of them have high locker room chemistry with each other. So uh, we should be fine. Ham uh, Bennett, highest locker room chemistry is with Hamilton. So we should be fine. They all like each other. I like that a lot. And then you got Monahan, Reinhardt. You know what? Let's go with Brody there. Reinhardt, Bro, uh, Reinhardt will set up Brody. 
That should be working out well for us. And you got a very solid third one as well. Uh, extra attackers will be Gaudreau and Hamilton. Shootout looking like that. And then our goaltending Smith and Grubauer. I'm sure that will change here in a second. Uh, but now let's go to AHL. Got to take a quick look at it. Uh, Hart's our starter. The main things we'll look at. Emlyn first line, right wing everything. And defense Vralimaki first pair le uh, left defenseman for everything. So hopefully he grows. Hopefully Emlyn grows. And... Remember, got member 53 Fremlin. Hopefully that number goes up. If he's at the end of the year, at the end of the regular season, he's at a 70. I mean, not to be pushing it, but if he can get to a 70 by the end of the regular season, I think he can possibly push for a spot next year as a fourth liner. So we'll keep an eye on him. Hopefully he grows. Uh, let's see. We gotta give. Uh, so sorry, Troy Brower. You should know you are not allowed to have that. Ginla gets the assistant captaincy. That's the only thing I'll change there. I mean, it's a Ginla. How do you not give him the captaincy? So, with that, let's start up the preseason. Oh, Troy Bauer's upset for losing an alternate. Guess what? Uh, Ginla gets it. I don't know why I did it that way. Uh, so, kind of a longer video, I guess. We'll do preseason. And then we'll probably do about October. There you go. Boom. Two big victories. That's actually those Canucks. Ooh, Scout. Yay. Uh, let's go S S H L forwards. Three, four weeks. Month. Let's see if that works out well for us. Ooh, can't beat the Coyotes. That sucks. Or the Gold Knights. Come on, beat the Kings. Finish strong. Beat the Kings. Right. Please tell me Reinhardt had one of those fake injuries. Where's like, oh, I'm injured, I'm healthy, yeah. That's what I hope it is. Uh, for preseason, we are four and three. Business in the third spot, very nice. Um, control had nine points. That's why we got Reinhardt, to give him the puck all night long. And look at that, boom, boom, boom. The first line is a point per game line. Monahan with seven assists, very strong. Uh, forwards. Uh, everybody got a point. Again, they got an assist. Brower got a goal. Those are only one pointers. And defenseman. Giordano got six. Hamannix got three. So our two offensive boys couldn't get a s more points than our defensive guys. So that's fine. Uh, we'll take keep an eye on it going forward, but should be good. Uh, only Hamilton was a defense that got the power play point and for forwards uh, You got Gaudreau who had four power play points two goals Kachuk two goals Not bad Oh Darn no shorthanded points and goalies Grubauer 4-2-0 and oh, with a 921 save percentage and a 871 for Mike Smith Goals against for Grubauer, 228. Smith is a 406. Anybody get a point? Nobody got a point. So if uh, Grubauer can keep that up, and we should be fine going forward. Uh, I'm going to end the video here, kind of longer one. So click like and subscribe, a lot of fun stuff. And until next time, when we go into regular season, I will see you later.